Can I start? Yes, please start. Huh. So I would like to share my 32 years small experience. And there are some good things. There are some, uh, some uh, points are to be addressed. Because in 1997, uh, during a foreign training, I was only and only looking for, uh, as a dairy industry, cow industry, animal husbandry, uh, animal science. But then during the foreign training, I understood the importance of engineering in 1997. What is its role and what is its impact? So we are today after, uh, I think, uh, 23 plus 3, 26 years. I am talking first time on role of engineering in cost saving and income generation. So due to thanks to agricultureinformation.com, the Rajni madam and their whole team, we are talking today on this important topic, which is mostly neglected in India. So I am with uh, in front of you on this topic. This uh, whole world is talking about one health. One health means the health of the soil, the health of cow and the health of the human, human being. But this environment, animal and human being needs proper communication, coordination, capacity building and collaboration. And these things are done by proper engineering. The society needs only a good milk, proper uh, paneer, proper ice cream and safety, quality assurance with proper packaging and branding. But when it comes to health of the cow, human being and human uh, livestock animal, then we will talk today about how engineering can help us. Yes, there are 3468 colleges in India and they are working on uh, Unnat Bharat, that is uh, development of India. So basic amenities, there are available in the engineering colleges for the transfer of uh, knowledge. Second is the rural area where the artisans are there, but I will show you in future, uh, next slides. What is the role of uh, artisan in uh, dairy farming? Then water management, how much quantity of water is required for a cow? It should be described by the engineering colleges, then organic farm, right? Uh, many institutes or uh, engineering colleges have the vision to change the rural development process with help of institutional knowledge. But how it can be done? We have to transform this knowledge of these academicians or the what, what we call as uh, bureaucrats or engineering colleges or head of the departments or universities. It should be usable to the dairy owners. I am not going in more theoretical details as, as it is all uh, already available on many websites. We have to work for the dairy farmer. The per now, coming to our main topic today, the milk production in India is 210 million tons at, from uh, last 1951 to, to 2021. We have done such a progress as far as volume is concerned, that is quantity is concerned. But what are future challenges, present challenges and future challenges? We want help of engineering, how it can be helpful to us. The livestock census versus milk production, total number of cattle in countries 193 million and the non-descript cattle population, which is giving parallel uh, income with that of milk is 51 million and 142 million, right? So, Considering 210 million tons of milk in 2019-20, we are facing some challenges and we have to address them with help of engineering. How? We will see. Economics. The role of civil engineering, mechanical engineering, then electrical engineering, computer science and information technology. It, we, it is very, very, very essential to, for cost saving and or income generation. Yes. Integration, multidisciplinary approach is required for the benefit of uh, cow owners. 
because in today's session there are pan india engineers who are rearing cows we are very lucky that a audience with having a engineering background plus having plus having own dairy farm they are also in this program so integration is required coordination there are huge institutes and departments and ngos and trust and banks working for the dairy development but there is a prop, a proper coordination is required then conceptualization because the basic concepts of dairy farming are not clear and we have to uh, take help of digital technology social media commercialization everything has to be con uh, converted to business only and only the dairy farmer will accept all these mechanical civil uh, iot ai and climate change and all, all this should be done with help of a user friendly app ha huh. now coming to civil engineering from 2015 when uh, my uh, seven hours videos uh, sorry 14 hours videos uh, has come to youtube i was having a dream that the capital expenditure which is spent on huge capital expenditure which is spent on this civil construction because when you are a cow owner and you are thinking of starting a dairy farmer dairy farming then lot of unnecessary expenses are done on this shared construction so the what is the target of civil engineering to develop low cost portable proper ventilated proper light good light and less labor dependent shed designs this was my dream from 1997 and it is completed by tamil nadu my online customer it is from theni so i dedicate this design to a farmer called ajay raja from theni he has done a such a portable good ventilated less labor dependent even the cement you are looking that there is no cement there is no uh, sand means uh, uh, one fifth of general shed designs requirements are uh, reduced here and by adopting this designs by the civil engineering uh, departments in uh, engineering colleges there would be saving of 80000 uh, sorry 80 crores of rupees per year on 80000 cattle shed construction so civil engineering should give a 20 cow model 50 cow model 100 cow model in such a way that the cow owner should save his money and also uh, so save the cows from diseases because india is spending 7000 crores of rupees unnecessarily on diseases i will show you in next slide but civil engineering is the basis that is foundation of uh, dairy farming and huge in uh, huge expenses are uh, uh, reducing the income of the cow owners so portable simple proper ventilated uh, good light such models are needed i am not talking about netherlands and holland and denmark and israel where they have the uh, rooftops moving according to the uh, how sun is moving the rooftops are moving i am not talking i am talking about indian cow farmer who has 10 to 20 cows so this is a best model in tamil nadu uh, theni now let us talk of ai and iot engineering department and colleges have this uh, computer science and uh, information technology departments they have to develop easy to use apps this is a era what we call as mobile app era any general customer even you or me are having 40 to 50 apps in our mobile so a farmer should be given cow owner should be given a simple app that will uh, correlate effect of climate change on productivity and profitability of the animals so 29.6 crores of rupees per year will be saved on 80000 sheds in 1600 16000 villages now computer science it needs a simple excel sheet single page excel sheet i have developed it regarding the ratio of milking to non milking animals and pregnant to non pregnant animals that single page excel sheet will help 
the cow owner to determine whether he is in profit, whether he is in no loss, no profit, or he is in profit. In industrial uh, language, you can call it as whether he is in a break-even, whether he is in profit, or whether he is a prosperous cow owner. So this app, the app matter is ready. 1.6 crores of rupees will be saved per year. Now let us talk about mechanical engineering when it comes to the chaff cutter. Chaff cutter is the heart of any dairy farming because uh, most of the expenses on dairy farming are on the fodder. And this fodder properly chaffed is going in the mouth of the animal and then converting it to milk and milk products. So the mechanical engineering departments have to work on the rotation per minute of the chaff cutter, RPM. Any engineers understands what is RPM. So rotations per minute of chaff cutters, their develop uh, models are to be different models considering the manpower and man hours in dairy farming. And so a five, five cow farm, 10 cow farm, 20 cow farm, what is their uh, per day requirement of uh, fodder? What is the per, uh, output of the chaff cutter in one hour? That models are to be developed and it will be giving a saving of rupees 14 crores, 40 lakhs of rupees in 80,000 shares. And I am considering these 80,000 shares are only of small farmers who have five to 10 cows. So mechanical engineering plays very, very, very important role in reducing the manpower and man hours in preparing the food of the animal. That is use of proper use of chop cutter. Colleges should can play a vital role in saving lot of energy time in the chaff cutters. Next is, yes, India is an agriculture country. There are a lot of fruits and vegetables and pulses and oil seeds and this. Any agriculture, when we talk about it, India is wasting fruit and vegetable waste, 13,000 crores per year. This is data of 2018. If you are more interested in this, then 2013, United Nations uh, Second Department is Food and Agriculture Organization. And they have prepared a huge uh, roadmap how to solve this uh, fruit, uh, vegetable waste and how to overcome the feeding expenses in dairy animals. So the computer science and engineering, uh, computer science and IT, IOT should work on real-time database of what is the waste available in the rural area, uh, surrounding area. Because for example, in Chennai, the owner told me, sir, there is no green leaf nearby me for 100 kilometers. So what is waste available to him? Real-time data should be available. For If you come to Pune, huge waste of uh, cops. It is available in Ganpati season. In uh, Kheni, I have used that model. 10,000 rupees of uh, fruit, uh, this uh, banana leaf waste. We have saved in this Kheni, come in your Madurai, and we saved 10,000 rupees per month on a 40 cow farm. So there are bubble pots, there are banana leaf, there are uh, cobs, that is maize cobs, then you uh, what you call as apple juice, uh, this apple waste, then batata wafers, there are uh, these uh, wafers produced by fruit uh, companies. The agro waste of these fruit companies, they are very, very, very good, but farmer doesn't know it. The real problem is this, uh, what is cost saving methods, they should be available to the cow owners dairy owners on a common platform. It should be a public domain, not any uh, patent or some uh, trademark or copyright. It should be available as a public domain. And that knowledge should be given by these uh, participating institutes. In uh, There are 3,468 uh, colleges working on Unnat Bharat. So what is Unnat Bharat is development of the Bharat. But how? We have to give simple, easy to use solutions to that farmer. Yes. 
in your 100 km area these are the fruit west these are vegetable west these are oil seed west these are pulses west so any formula in delhi cannot work in bangalore because every 10 km we are changing our agriculture this real time data should be given with help of computer science and information technology and uh, i have i have done if you save 1 kg of dry fodder per day per animal you are saving 14600 rupees on a small farm of 10 animals again i repeat because i have done it if you are saving your dry fodder with cob chaffed cob that is chaffed maize you are saving 14600 rupees on a cow farm of 10 animals and that is equivalent to a labor salary of one month even in hyderabad i have done this on a 200 cow farm but now due to time constraint i will not go in further yes now pashu ayurveda this pashu ayurveda it is a very important topic neglected in india it has value of 11000 crores of rupees india has a tra vast tradition of 5000 years near about 650 ayurvedic plants or general plants are available in bangalore transdisciplinary university out of that they have prepared some 200 formulations for uh, reducing the treatment cost of the animal and any farmer any farmer who can who is going to his farm or dairy farm knows 80 plants but this knowledge has to be has to converted with help of tribal people knowledge and it should be in the youtubes converted to youtubes by these engineering colleges and save thousands of crores of rupees 7000 crores of rupees can be saved by these engineering colleges only by converting tribal ayurveda knowledge into business that is cost saving saving of 7000 crores rupees now homeopathy this uh, uh, there is one my client at madanpalli near uh, tirupati that goshala was spending 2000 rupees per treatment per treatment single time this homeopathy has brought it to 400 rupees per year so one fifth of saving but this pashu homeopathy has to be converted by this engineering college into digital platform and give it to illiterate people i will show how uh, it can be converted uh, knowledge to business for cost saving and income generation yes coming to very 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 danger problems of india 57000 million tons of pesticides equivalent to 570 crores of rupees are spent annually in india it may be vegetable it may be uh, milk milk products it may be human being it may be cattle or agriculture or soil or even in your ice cream there are pesticides in your when you go to hotel you are order paneer and there is pesticides then this engineering college can uh, can or should do random sampling systems of soil samples and give simple bio pesticides solutions to the cow owners 20% reduction in use and uh, we have i am working with a csr foundation we don't have engineering support but still with our poor knowledge of biology or veterinary doctor we saved uh, from 2019 we have saved 13 uh, lakhs of rupees in this uh, pesticides now we want engineering colleges to come forward or engineering some startup should come forward and replicate this model so to save 100 millions of rupees per year in india now you are looking the right side the uh, right slide side slide it is showing that pesticide consumption is highest in cotton that is 45% and followed by paddy 22% and cotton seed cake is highly used in india for cattle feed cake or cattle consumption so the 
if bad effects of pesticides on the health of the animal and then the health of the human being is very detrimental so i request all these engineering colleges to put real time data and give quick solutions user friendly solutions to the dairy owners yes some 50 years ago there was barter system the uh, carpenter and what we call hoof trimmer they were available or the shoe makers they were available in rural area and now in 50 years everybody is uh, running to the metropolis uh, metro cities this uh, right side uh, slide which you are looking it is a it is a goshala near pune some 200 kilometers and in left corner you are looking a flower pot which is made from cow dung so the proper design we need help of a cow owner needs help of flower pot this uh, flower pot held in hand by dr swajit singh uh, gaud he is head of uh, civil engineering from bhopal engineering college and this uh, uh, flower pot model has uh, been done already by a farmer called unde at aman nagar and he has earned rupees 1.5 lakhs last year what uh, what now what engineering is required here is that you have to give this proper uh, um, branding and what you call uh, packaging help to the cow owner we need your help in this manner so there are 300 400 and 3468 colleges working in 1600 uh, villages in india so the rural artisans they can they need social media coverage by this engineering colleges who are good in instagram pinterest twitter hey, even i am not using twitter i am very poor so how this farmer we can help uh, can uh, use the twitter so these engineering colleges can be a good help already this uh, 5000 dairy farms can be given 5 lakh rupees and total total revenue generation is 100 crores of rupees per year the knowledge of the tribal people or this uh, 12 standard uh, people who are near pune we need a platform a national level platform regional level platform engineering colleges platform who will convert that uh, available traditional knowledge or rural knowledge into business yes there are many many dairy farms who don't know how to prepare soap from cow dung or cow urine 6000 crores of industry is waiting for the dairy farmers but the problem is he doesn't know how to go, do a good uh, labeling packaging branding social media marketing and that's the role of engineering colleges to provide him a good support or bridge the gap between producer and the consumer niti ayog report 2023 it promotes rural industries there they, they have prepared a 75 page report it is available on their website also but the main thing comes to implementation and there comes the role of engineering colleges or private experts the there are lot of colleges just like uh, engineering uh, this uh, fashion designing or something packaging college designing college labeling college these colleges should can provide good support to this soap in, uh, to this uh, dairy for, uh, farmers to take a to take a stake of at least 10% that's 600 crores per year one uh, successful goshala in near pune it is hardly 200 kilometers you are invited uh, you are welcome at any time non milking our today's uh, topic is dairy farmers but i am talking stressing on a cow is not a machine it is not a some vehicle industry showroom that uh, you will press the button and uh, 300 cars will come out in 200, 24 hours so cow needs a rest of 2 months then 3 uh, months and at that time cow gives cow dung cow cow gives urine and that should be converted to soaps so in 
successful dairy uh, successful goshala owner near pune he is earning 18 lakhs of rupees per year from 50 non milking cows but he was struggling for years due to non support of technology technology means engineering daily by daily by r and d by trial and error by making mistakes and uh, rectifying the mistakes he has come to this stage now the mba colleges mba colleges can be uh, can give good support in marketing because this uh, engineering colleges platform they are also having pharma industry pharma colleges they are having mba colleges when i went to lecture at bhopal they are having all such type of colleges under one roof with a different group uh, institutions so if 50 goshalas or 50 dairy farmers come together as an entrepreneur they can start soap making factories and the revenue generation is uh, uh, on my paper is 9 crores of rupees per year plus it will solve rural unemployment problem a 10 by 10 feet uh, room in a dairy farm is sufficient for making a soap industry already we are do- doing this in, uh, from last 8 uh, years at uh, sham goshala aurangabad in maharashtra just we are lacking in getting engineering support the huge problem in metro cities is sanitization and solid waste management but the problem is also in rural areas when their the land cost are very high so a project of one year of college of uh, uh, designing disposal of cow and buffalo waste like urine and dung is serious issue in urban areas i have one client in delhi he is uh, he uh, there are 160 cows in his farm he is facing huge problem of disposal of uh, cow dung and urine because he is in urban area and we need help of solid waste management from management from engineering colleges and there is a good opportunity of making this uh, logs logs from the cow dung one of my jaipur customer uh, who was he is ex army he has earned 50000 rupees in 6 months so uh, selective 50 farmers dairy farmers can earn 25 lakhs of rupees but we are very uh, poor we don't have proper design we need a proper design of that logo and of that log which which is to be prepared from this cow dung second is uh, national education policy which is to be implemented from ne- this uh, june the curriculum reforms and uh, school education system i have 90 days program ready made program and this 8th uh, standard 9th standard students if they are random sample survey is done by this uh, engineering colleges or this unemployed engineers they can uh, save the 7000 crores of rupees per year on mastitis secondly it will make it will prepare the milk residue free milk pesticide free milk antibiotic free milk uh, fertilizer free milk and it should be he- it will be helpful for a safe health what we st- uh, started is one health that is united nations world health organization world health organization uh, uh, all these uh, organizations are working for safe health of soil cow and human being so 1000 crores of rupees can be saved by this proper coordination conceptualization and commercialization of this knowledge of this uh, dairy farmers it will save 1000 crores of rupees of central government on health system of human being no skill development knowledge of any academician or any professor or any institute should be helpful to the nation nation means we are talking of dairy farmers so department of computer science and it technology i have seen from 2000 to 2008 i have worked in export dairy and there is lot of scope to improve the management knowledge Uh, of the dairy owners and as it causes huge losses to rural people regarding marketing is concerned some of our concern this uh, consignments or containers 
were returned back by this uh, foreign countries due to due to export norms from last four years i am working with cummins india foundation in csr gave training to 7, 700 ladies and we saved 13 lakhs of rupees per year but the thing is that i am a single person my knowledge if any engineering college is interested to convert as a mobile app or a software then i can save 13 130 lakhs 1300 lakhs 13 crores 1300 crores can be saved in india per year now the solution online education syllabus for short diploma course for uh, educated ladies or school education for 90 days as a diploma course is ready only the thing is that this uh, computer science and it uh, department should come forward take my syllabus and um, make it ready as a diploma course in schools and colleges now affordable healthcare if the cow owner is uh, not feeling well he is having diabetes or heart attack or tuberculosis or cancer which are having zoonotic import zoonotic means any disease of cow owner can come to cow or any disease of cow can come to uh, can be attracted by the cow owners so this type of knowledge is to be given to the cow owners with help of small apps user friendly app single page app which should be easily available on a national platform or a college platform why because this uh, health data of the farmers in adopted villages with health of soil cow and human being this syncing of the data real time data will reduce the treatment cost treatment cost of cow owners it is presently it is 7000 crores such type of work has to be done by department of computer science and information technology government expenses near about 1000 crores by central government can be saved per year whatever support biological support means knowledge support is required i am ready for that yes a cow owner spends 3000 rupees per uh, per cow on repeat breeding this demo 99% cow owners or dairy farmers or goshalas are not knowing or using this azola a hardly a single 10 feet by 4 feet 5 4.5 feet uh, bed is required investment per college is 3000 rupees target is to reduce this repeat breeding problem and there are 16000 villages adopted by this 300 3468 colleges 16 lakhs of animals are there and we will reduce the loss of 480 crores per year so azola cultivation it has 4.58% fat 23 amino acids seven minerals and mainly important is it will reduce the physical and mental financial uh, expenses of the cow owners only the computer science and it in college should work on this project by convert converting this uh, small but important tool for the benefit of the dairy owner now computer science and uh, information technology they ha- they ha- they should convert 32 topics of integrated farming for cost saving and income generation because already they are in, uh, studying or they have pre final students final student they have pg students they have po- phd students post doctorate only the thing is they have to use this uh, knowledge as a tool and convert it convert the traditional knowledge to business digital empowerment i have given i will show you now this uh, it the farmer or cow owner who is daily busy in agriculture or dairy farming he doesn't have he might not might not have time to learn the books or uh, go to classroom lecture but any youtube material he can see in his farms my youtubes are studied by 3.54 lakhs farmers in last 7 years and I, i i am implementing them in nine states from 2014 water resource management 
a cow needs 120 liters milk per uh, 200, uh, 120 liters of water per day for successful dairy farming. Saving of 1 lakh rupees per cattle shed will save 1 crore of rupees on 100 sheds. I have taken this, but due to time problem, I have not done. My focus is civil department of each college should come forward for proper shed design, proper water design, proper water tank design, and give a simple solution to the cow owners. Yes, coming to last slide is, uh, most of the 70 to 90% ladies are uh, in working in this uh, 6. Uh, 6 lakhs, 6.14 lakhs villages in India, 90% milking, cow feeding, then uh, uh, this uh, cow dung removal and a, um, many agriculture operations, these are done by these ladies. So proper documentation of traditional knowledge is uh, ready with help of 19 YouTubes, only the regional coordinating institutes. There are 45 RCI in 29 states of India. They have to convert this knowledge of YouTube on their portal and spread it in crores of ladies on their uh, platform like YouTube platform. These uh, photos you have, you are looking, I'm giving lecture to 1,500 uh, cow owners, lady cow owners in last uh, three months. But again, the thing is that a single person's knowledge is not sufficient. So engineering has two departments. One is computer science and second is IT. They have to convert this knowledge on a simple mobile Android phone. We are giving a, we have adopted 700 ladies in four adopted villages and with the help of a CSR, you know CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility and we have saved 13 lakhs of rupees per year on this issue. But the main thing is that women's digital empowerment has to be done by this engineering colleges because visual uh, story or visual success story or visual knowledge has more impact on even illiterate ladies who have the mobiles. Illiterate ladies or literate ladies doesn't matter. The thing is that knowledge should be available to the ladies and this is the main gap in Indian livestock industry that this knowledge is not freely available to the ladies. We have saved uh, 9 to 30 lakhs per year on, sorry, 9 lakhs of rupees in 20 livestock holders. This is data of 2019, but now we have reached to 13 lakhs of saving in 100 livestock holders. So what a roadmap is ready with me is possible saving of 3000 crores of rupees per year in 16,000 villages in India. Now last, I have taken five minutes more. Sorry for that. A YouTube is a good tool. Already we have given 24 uh, hours free YouTubes but people don't have time, especially this uh, livestock owners don't have time for uh, uh, some 24 GB data, 30 GB data, 40 GB data. They, this, they can't see. They want simple, uh, small videos. So I am ready as a veterinary doctor or what you call as a sustainable agriculture and dairy farming development expert. And Engineering colleges and engineers or startups should come forward to transfer or transform this knowledge into business. And for that purpose, we have given indiancow.co.in is our website. WhatsApp number is also given, mail ID is also given. I am thankful to uh, agricultureinformation.com to give me a opportunity to talk in front of you. And uh, because a knowledge is not useful to nation unless it some national platform like uh, this uh, agriculture and industry survey, they are in this industry from lot of years and they are converting knowledge to business with their digital platform. So this is a good platform for me to give my knowledge to all these dairy owners. 
I request and uh, invite if there are any questions from the audience. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Prashant Yogi, for the detailed presentation. Now I'll quickly take up some questions since we are running a short of time. Okay, so the first question is, in your experience, what are some of the key areas where engineering can significantly contribute to cost savings for dairy farmers? Manpower and man hour, it is wasted 200 uh, hours per year. So a good uh, machine, chaff cutter machine should be developed by this mechanical engineering department and that a model about output, saving of manpower, saving of man hours, that model should be available to any cow owners or any dairy owners and it will be a good boon for the dairy industry. Next question, how can engineering solutions help in reducing energy consumption and operational costs in dairy farming? Yes, operational cost uh, uh, first is this uh, uh, civil engineering because the climate changes in India are very frequently uh, observed now. So the real time data which is observed on your and my mobile now is that per hour weather forecast is available, that type of data should be available to the cow owners on their mobile and it will reduce the uh, risk of low productivity and low profitability in dairy farming. So real time climate change data should be available to the farmers and that is the role of artificial intelligence and internet of things. Okay. And next question, what specific engineering technologies or innovations have, have you seen successfully implemented to improve milk production? and quality while reducing expenses? Very difficult to answer because our uh, cow owners or dairy farmers, they are very poor or uh, means uh, very less in use of Excel sheet or uh, uh, mobile apps or because either they may don't get time or such uh, user friendly apps are not available or not used by this uh, dairy farmers. Okay. Could you provide examples of how automation and robotics have been utilized in dairy farming to increase efficiency and profitability? Yes. Today, today in Maharashtra, a labor, a single labor takes 300 rupees for uh, per day dairy farming uh, labor uh, working. A simple, huh, there are three challenges in uh, dairy farming today. One is labor management because the labor are not uh, available because he doesn't come. He says that, yes, uh, I have to do work for means uh, Labor is work for cow dung removal. Second is milking. And third is um, bringing the fodder from the uh, agricultural land. These three parts, if they are reduced, how it can be reduced? First is milking machine is available, but not easily used in India by the 85% uh, cow owners. Second, I want to focus is the laborious job by re of removing the cow dung uh, from the cow shed and putting it in a corner of the cow farm. It is very becoming tedious job and labor are not available. A simple machine is available now, which picks up the cow dung and uh, throws it or uh, dump, uh, dump it in a uh, this corner. As you may call it as a cow dung uh, pickup machine. It is hardly a matter of 50,000, but 40%, 40 percent, 40 percent labor deficiency, uh, labor uh, efficiency has been increased by, by this machine. But this machine is not uh, known to many persons in India. It is prepared by a small uh, farmer in uh, Maharashtra near uh, uh, Amanagar district, Parvani district. Such type okay. of quick and easy solutions are required. This uh, Rekharani Biswas from Odisha, this uh, Vishwajit Behra from Biswas, they have come to me for uh, such type of trainings. Even Jignesh from Ahmedabad, he just came for training to Pune. We are lacking in getting engineering support for uh, dairy farming. Okay. Next question. What role does engineering play in optimizing the design and layout of dairy farms 
to maximize productivity and minimize expenses yes a very good question because i i was waiting for this question and my dream from israel that is 1997 came to true by tamil nadu cow owner generally uh, 5 lakhs of rupees 10 lakhs of rupees even 16 lakhs of rupees are sp- uh, were spent by these cow owners for preparing a cattle shed design when you are spending huge uh, money on capex ultimately it is affecting the operational cost that is uh, purchasing of the cows uh, purchasing of uh, this operational cost uh, for uh, uh, motor pumps then milking machines then blood and stool urine testing and dna testing so these uh, activities are hampered so a simple 20 because 85% people in india are having 20 cows or 10 cows a model it should be less labor dependent which i have shown a thinny model second it should be proper ventilation when if you are working with uh, dairy owners in 60% dairy farms you have to bow down and then enter the uh, dairy farms not dairy farm but in the cow sheds there is no proper ventilation there is no proper light uh, there is no proper environment there is no there are no exhaust fans there are fans we are increasing huge light bills powers we are not knowing that exhaust fans uh, proper shed design with proper exhaust fans can reduce the light bill and the improve the productivity of the animals because a uh, suffocated area like cattle shed is not good for giving milk cows are not happy our logo our emblem is that healthy cow will the owners but if the cow is not healthy if the shed design is not properly i will then how the owner can be wealthy proper cow shed design with less labor dependency proper ventilation and proper uh, light is requirement of the dairy industry today to save the manpower man hours and most important is 5% milk per year that is 50 liters of milk amounting to 2500 rupees per cow is the net benefit and that is recurring benefit from per cow per year so we are in requirement of this engineering designs next question are there any emerging energy engineering trends or technologies that you believe have the potential to significantly impact cost savings and income generation in dairy industry simple user friendly apps are required regarding the ratio first ratio is milking to non milking a cow owner should understand with a just he should fill up two to three figures from his farm how many cows are in milking how many cows are not in non milking how many cows are pregnant how many cows are non pregnant that ratio will give him himself that ratio will sensitize uh, sensitize him uh, that whether he is in loss whether he is in no loss no profit or whether he is in profit such type of user apps are required are the need of the hour for the dairy industry because the farmer or the cow owner is far away from such type of uh, financial calculations today okay now next question for small scale dairy farmers with limited resources what yeah. engineering strategies or practices would you recommend to improve cost savings and income generation <clears throat> very easily whatever the knowledge is available it may be tribal uh, cow healers it may be nutrition that is a fruit and vegetable waste it it may be real time data of the fruit and veg- uh, vegetable waste it may be climate change data all such type of real time data should be made available to the cow owners by the computer science and engine, uh, information technology departments that is the only thing one stop solution that knowledge should be available easily and user friendly and it should be even in uh, regional languages at least english is spoken in south india hindi is spoken in north india and marathi is spoken in maharashtra at least three languages apps should be okay. available to the cow owners okay 
So we have another one question. Before that, I'll check with the participants in Zoom if they would like to ask any questions. Mr. Biswajit Bhaira, you can either post your questions in the chat box or you can unmute yourself and ask question. Okay, we yeah. will move to Mr. Uh, yes, Mr. Biswajit. For, thank you for the session, sir. And uh, my question, uh, on the challenges on the ground on the labor management side. So how to handle because the current, uh, currently the labor problem and working in the dairy, uh, especially dairy farms and all the hesitation and reluctant. So how as if uh, a cow uh, Bosala owner, so how to handle and how to tackle such scenarios and how to overcome from such challenges? Yes. First thing is skill development and capacity building of your labors. Second is you have to reduce your labor dependency. Third is the cow dung removal is the major problem. For that the labor are not getting. So cow dung pickup machine, it will be a long term investment, but helpful for you. And the last is either carrot or the stick. So you should have a carrot with you. That is performance link incentive for the labors because uh, neither you nor me will be working in your Goshala. But the worker, he should be given performance link incentive. And the last is, most important is, there should be a rewarding system. If he performs more, he will get the incentive. If he does not get the, uh, uh, if he does not prove himself, then he has to be removed. But before uh, removing a labor is very difficult job now in particular in dairy industry. So you have to work on only reducing his labor depend his uh, dependency with help of semi-automatic machines. And second is performance link incentive. They, these are the only two solutions at presently, which can be worked out. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you for valuable inputs. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Jignesh. Jignesh, unmute yourself. Now I am on pre-startup phase, so I have don't any query. And I just attend Yogi Sir's seminar before two days. Okay. Okay. No problem. But uh, Jignesh has a good forest area, so he can work on uh, with work with the tribal people and uh, use their knowledge uh, for his uh, dairy farming. Yeah. Okay. So I'll take up now last question. How can data analytics and sensor technologies be utilized in dairy farming to optimize feed management and improve overall farm profitability? Uh, data analytics is, for example, one crore cow owner's data regarding the problems, then uh, short-term problem, medium-term problem, long-term problem, pre-startup, then startup, then uh, uh, capital expenditure, then uh, operational problem, then diseases, then fodder management, then uh, what you call as Pashu Ayurveda, Pashu Homeopathy, all this data has to be, a, it is a, what you call, one-year program, collecting the data and uh, analyzing it. So many startups or many engineering colleges has to come forward for the parameters which will be given by me work on it, then analyze it, and then give the tools, then prepare the tools and give the tools to the cow owners or dairy owners on a simple, single, nationally available platform. For example, climate change is the very critical challenge nowadays. Second is improving the skills of the laborers, very difficult. We have to use this uh, YouTube and uh, improve their skills. Third is performance link incentive. In uh, last year, you know, central government has given incentive, 26,000 crores of rupees incentive for automobile industry. It was a uh, Corona 1, Corona 2 stage, but such type of incentive is not available in dairy industry. So the cow owner has to work on performance link incentive. Third is fruit and vegetable waste. 28% fodder prices have gone shoot up in this last six months 
and the profit margin is it is usually very less in dairy industry and again the profit margin has reduced by 28% in last 6 months so this data what you are talking about data what are the fruits vegetables oil seeds pulses cereals available in india what are their west available in india that data should be available in every states and the farmer should know what agro west is available in his 100 kilometers so this uh, 3468 colleges should work on it and give that data to the cow owners and save see 1460 rupees can i have saved in one cow so there are 14 crores of animals you multiply this 14 crores into 1400 rupees it will go in thousands of crores first is collection of the data second is segregation of the data that is compartment uh, segregation third is after analyzing the data giving that uh, analysis to the cow owners and proving him that yes engineering is with you and the gap between engineering and dairy farming has to be reduced for the benefit of the cow owners dairy farmers and the nation okay dr yogi uh, so now we have come to end of question round on behalf of agricultureinformation.com we like to thank you for the detailed presentation and answering all the questions in depth and we also like to thank all the participants for joining this meeting the meeting will now be closed thank you you are most welcome sir thank you